Welcome to my in-depth review of World Mark by Wyndham Bison Ranch Resort in Overgard, Arizona, located in what they call the White Mountains of Arizona. I am not an expert on this area. I'm going to give you a fairly in-depth review of our two-bedroom unit in case you are interested in staying here and you want to know all the details about it. Then we'll take a look around outside the property and just give you kind of like a realistic look at what it is like. So it has a nice little living area with a fireplace and a television. I like the decor. They painted the old yucky decor that you might see in some of the pictures. I don't know if they're all updated or not. I have no idea. I'm not a timeshare person. Um, let's go out. You have a two patios, non-smoking porches, I guess, or decks. We were on the upstairs unit. You've got a little Two chairs and a table, a nice little grill. It's got a, um, I wanted to say hardwired in, <laughs> a gas line. There's not a propane tank. It's, you know, been used a few times, but I thought it was usable. Got a little scrubber there and our unit looked over the little square with the gazebo. And there's also another little square, I guess you'd say, behind that with the swimming pool. That's the Murphy bed that pulls out of the wall in the living room. I think that's a lot nicer, in my opinion, than having the sofa you, as the bed. Theoretically, if someone is asleep, on this Murphy bed, you could still sit on the sofa and watch TV and irritate them. <laughs> this is me. Yeah, I am in my pajamas. So just, that's just it. That's the way it goes. I'm 60 years old, not in great shape, and I could operate the Murphy bed just fine. It does have a little blanket, but kind of think the whole place in general could use another blanket. So yeah, I was able to lift it back up and put the Murphy bed away. I do apologize for my unattractive pajamas. I'm going to give you a really in-depth kitchen detail section here so that if you are coming with plans to cook specific foods or you're the you're just like really into pre-planning, you'll know what came in our unit. I don't know if that means it will be in your unit or not, but and I will do that in just a minute. Here's a nice little desk or nook. You'll see that we have junked it up almost immediately. There is a landline phone and I can't get very good Wi-Fi, neither can my husband, on our laptops. It keeps going in and out. It's very slow. To me, it's unusable, but I'm pretty picky. We've just been using our phones the whole time we've been here. I think we've been here three or four days now, so we've kind of, you'll see our junk sitting around. Um, has a nice little, I guess I would call that a dresser, which is a kind of strange place to put it, but actually very functional there. If you have someone sleeping on that bed, you're not gonna, they're not going to have anywhere to put their stuff. So it would come in really handy instead of tripping over their stuff. And then we have the little dinette, and then you can move the television to the dinette section so you can watch TV while you eat which is, yeah, you know, most people don't want to admit they do that. <laughs> we basically sit on the couch and watch TV and eat 
most of the time. But everybody's got their own lifestyle. And I do like the fact this dinette, it's not showing up, has like little vinyl dining room chairs. So if you have little kids and they're eating their cereal every morning and spilling their milk on the chair, it just comes in handy to be able to wipe those seats off and not worry about it. I'd say the place is pretty kid-friendly in general. Maybe not toddler-friendly. You'll have to, you know, keep an eye on There's that fireplace there. Very nice. I open that up in the morning to get more heat. and I just enjoy having it. And someone stuck some bubble gum on there, which really needs to be cleaned off. It's pretty nasty. You have a DVD player. I don't know if it's Blu-ray. I don't know. And a CD stereo thing. And then you have a little timer for the fireplace. So it's about a, I don't know, 20 minutes, 30 minutes time or something like that. Then you do have a little closet right here when you first walk in. We didn't really use it that much. We've got a couple things in there, some extra hangers. You have an ironing board and an iron. And I did use that little carpet sweeper. You have a little duster, a broom with a dustpan, and a toilet bowl brush, which I'm hoping I'm not going to have to use that. Um, nice little coat rack there. So that's pretty much the living space. I like the blinds, the cloth curtains that you do up and down. Okay, so we have some of our stuff in here, but here's the kitchen review. Those are the grill utensils. You've got a full knife set. Those napkins I got at the Goodwill, and I just put them there. Those are mine. Two silicone pot holders. It comes with a cutting board. You have some silver metal pans, electric stove. There's nothing under that. Everything's really clean. I made a burned place on that. I don't really have a way to scrub it off. You've got enough for two pots of coffee, a little bitty salt and pepper. That's my oil and spice. You have two. One's decaf, one's regular. So you'll want to bring some coffee if you're staying any length of time, there's a little coffee maker. I don't, I didn't use that. I make just one cup at a time with a little gadget that I have. Plenty of um, glassware. From what I can tell, you've got enough for eight people. Nice new microwave. And there's nothing up in that upper cabinet. This was. I think empty. We had a colander in there, and that's our food. Oh, you have a measuring cup and some measuring spoons in there, too. You have pot, medium size. You have the small pot that I use to heat up my water to make my coffee. You don't have a teapot or it an electric kettle if you're into that. You, you'll want to bring that if you need that. And then we have a made vegetable soup in this big pot because we're eternally trying to lose some weight. <laughs> so anyway, uh, you do have an ice maker, so that's nice. We've got a nice little set of utensils that are plastic on the end so you can scrub around on the skillets. Oh, you have two little nonstick skillets. I think they're in the dishwasher right now, so I forgot to show them. Just a, you have nice little mixing bowls with plastic lids, two baking dishes, and then I didn't see that until I did this tour. And I was like, that's kind of nice. I might use that to make our chicken and rice. And then I'm like, yeah, but I won't be able to get it clean because I don't really have, I don't know, I don't have like a 
SOS. You know, when you bake food in those glass dishes, it kind of looks nasty. We've got some plates. I bring paper plates, or we bought them at the grocery store because I'm lazy. I don't want to do too many dishes. Toaster, paper towels, garbage can, which I brought out. It kind of goes under the sink. Plenty of silverware, wine opener, can opener, vegetable peeler. I think that is empty. Oh yeah, you've got a cookie sheet and a pizza pan. I don't think, I don't know if anybody's ever used this stuff. I think we just caught this unit like it had just been redecorated, maybe over the winter. Garbage disposal, nice glass bowl. Scrub Mama came with it. <laughs> Yay! I'm so happy to do my dishes. You've got dish soap by some aromatherapy thing. I, I couldn't smell any, it just seemed like nothing. Uh, those are my plastic bags and my garbage bags. They do give you a few extra garbage bags. A blender. And empty. They, these towels come with it. They got two dish towels and two dish rags, dish cloths. Got one of those little sprayer faucets. I heard recently, like, don't if you're redoing your house, don't get those. I don't have one of those. They break all the time, the plumbers say. <laughs> I was like, oh, good to know, because I thought they were snazzy. Maybe they don't break all the time if you're careful. Let's go down the hall. We've got very small capacity here for the stackable washer and dryer. It does fine, but in my opinion, it's a half a load. Don't expect to come with, like, a bunch of kids and a bunch of laundry. You'll just be doing laundry all the time because you can only put in about half a load of a normal size. You know, but it works fine. Heating on the dryer was nice and hot. Got the job done. Here's the first bathroom. It's down the hall on the left. I guess I'd say it's the family bathroom because the bedrooms don't connect direct directly to it. We're going to go down here to the bedroom with the two twin beds. I think it's decorated nicely. It's a little dark, but it's kind of a mood, <laughs> a relaxing mood with the dark paint. It has a television and a chest and a closet. I forgot to show you. Just a, I don't know, a closet with two sliding doors. It's not walk-in. This is the master. Here's the primary bedroom. It has its own little balcony, at least the upstairs. I don't know what the downstairs layouts are. I guess you would just walk out onto the boardwalk. I think, in my opinion, there, where we're at, we're in that front corner. So we hear all the cars going by when we're sitting on the balcony. Not very relaxing, kind of boring, in my opinion. But some of the other units might have a better view. You've got a little alarm clock, radio thing, couple lights, couple nightstands. Very comfortable bedding and nice sheets. Um, not frayed or yellow or gross or anything. And there is a TV across from that bed. I forgot to show that. And a little chest, just like the one in the other bedroom. You've got towels for two people in each room. So if you had six people here, you would need to ask for some more. A lot of wooden hangers. There's the TV. And now we're coming back out, walking down the hall again. They left the duster out. <laughs> I just put it in the closet. So that's it. That's the tour. You have a lot of bison, 
photos, photos of saddles and Western kind of theme stuff. That is the inside tour. Let's go down the steps. This is outside the unit and the stairs. I heard someone complaining like that you were scary, an older gentleman. He couldn't, he was freaking out. And why would you make steps like that? It's for snow and ice. It has little teeth and then it will melt and fall down those holes. So yeah, you can see through them, but it is for safety. They're pretty grippy and not slippery. We did not have any snow when we were there in February, but I'm not sure. I've seen pictures. It does snow there. Here's what our little courtyard looks like in the winter. Everything's kind of nice and green in the summer. This is off season. We paid $4.89, $50. 56 bucks a night in February with Armed Forces Vacation Club, AFVC.com. It's like a space A thing. You'll just get leftover stuff that they're just trying to fill it up. And I'd say maybe it was 50% full when we were there in the winter. There's not a lot going on. <laughs> it's not at its most beautiful, but hey, we got... It's a lot of sunshine, and we got out of our snowy house in Colorado where the snow's really piled up, and we were kind of sick of looking at it. The downstairs on a couple of these, the one that faces the road, and then this one is retail space, but it's not like hectic. People are coming in all the time. There's an abundance of hair salons. I think I saw three. I don't know if they're all open or not. There is this little coffee and tap room, it said, which I did see some people in there, and the lights were on at night when we first arrived. Kind of looked closed, even though it was like 9 o'clock in the morning. I think they just had the lights off. I don't know. So I walk around. Let's look around the outside just a little bit. There is not a lot to do right here. There's really nothing to do that you don't that you'll need to drive to everything to find something to do. But you know, if you're kind of a chill person or a chilled out family and you want to spend time together, you can hang out here. This is the first little courtyard, like I said, with the gazebo. I guess courtyard would be better word for it. Instead of a square, it kind of makes a U-shape. And then this is the part of the second one. This is behind the visitor center or the office. You've got some chairs and another grill. I don't know why you come down there to grill, but I guess if you had like a party of 20 and you all wanted to eat together, you have a nice little little bitty itsy bitsy playground that's the swimming pool it's covered up right now see how it's in the center of the courtyard that is not as close to the road so it's a little bit quieter and there's the little golf carts that the housekeeping maintenance uses the people here were really nice and our unit was very clean of course, when something's brand new, it always seems very clean. It's, there's nothing. The paint's not scratched up or anything. This is walking up into that pool area. We've got a nice fence with a safety lock on the top, so you have to be at least a certain height to get in that gate. I was going specifically to get a look at the hot tub. The pool's closed, but the hot tub, they said, was open. Sometimes we like to use that, although we didn't bring our robes. It's a pretty good walk from the hot tub to our little condo, so it, we would need something warm 
Then I got kind of closer and I was like, uh, I'm not doing that crap. Look at that. It definitely needs attention, even though they say it's open. Not something I was interested in. There's a fire pit seating thing out. I don't even know if that's part of this property or not. It seemed like it was kind of on the edge of the property. So here it is in the rec room area. It's you can tell it's been around a while. It used to be painted like orange colors, that fireplace. Now it's like a sage green. I don't I don't like either one of those. <laughs> you, whatever, it really doesn't matter. You've got two pool tables, which you have to put quarters in. They're not free. You've got a couple of seating areas. Uh, you have an air hockey, again, not free. A giant Jenga game and a giant checkers game and I imagine the ping pong might be free you just ask for um, paddles some leftover books and there's your fitness treadmill elliptical bicycle and then a um, pull down one of those all-in-one weight machine type things and a, a scale here's the arcade which kind of makes me laugh <laughs> it's like i had forgotten about these games i mean i think that game right there looks like centipede i believe that i played that in the 80s <laughs> i'm not sure <laughs> but it's a good way to blow some money not dangerous right there on the property if you have some kids You've got a little photo booth area at the end of this with, she said there were costumes behind that door. Um, so anyway, and then you had some offices where they could do some high pressure sales techniques on you. I don't know if they still do that anymore. I'm continuing to walk around. This is the row that faces the highway. You've got a it said some kind of apparel coming soon. This is not a, even though there are some retail shops, it's not like a destination. There is a restaurant right here at the end of this section of buildings called the Wild Woman Saloon. We have not had a chance to go there yet. We did eat at the Red Onion down the road and that was night it was good very casual do not you don't have to dress up at all I have a feeling a lot of this would be much more popular of course in the summer this is not really a winter time hot spot that's the saloon restaurant down there on the end looks like from the internet it's been there okay so here's that water that on the website for world mark bison ranch they could put the camera down on the other side of this water and took a picture of the building so it makes it look like there's this huge well, not huge but nice large pond and it, they talk about you could go fishing here <laughs> which i think is kind of a stretch okay i mean there might be a couple fish in there if you're a little if you're a little kid, you're five years old, ten years old, but, um, yeah, no. This was kind of, you know. And then someone has put this alligator, which I thought was like fiberglass, but I got closer, and it is a stuffed animal. So, or maybe that's a crocodile. Let me know in the comments if you're into biology. And then there's a whole other section that looks like the same exact thing. See all those brown ones? But maybe they just haven't been updated yet, or maybe they're not part of World Mark. I'm not sure. In general, yes. I'd come here again. The price was really good, and the condo was nice and we're having fun we're going to drive to the petrified forest one day and then we went um to look around in the white mountains and part of that was 
had more snow than when where this overguard is at the time we were in February really didn't have any snow <clears throat> which was kind of nice maybe in the shade there's like two inches left over on the ground and um, we're gonna drive because we're not from this part of the country I mean we're from Colorado right now uh, it's where we've lived so we're gonna go to Phoenix which is a two-hour drive I think but and just look around because I think we passed through there once or twice, but we really haven't gotten to explore that. And it's like in the 70s down there. So we're going to go down there for the day. If you're looking for a green, warm winter snowboarding experience in Arizona, this is not going to be the location for you. If you're looking for a cheap place to snowbird for a week at 56 bucks a night, that is in Arizona this might be the place for you. So, oh, and what else? I think that's about it. I've, overall, I think everything was in good condition. I just don't think there's a lot to do. So if you like to go and do things every day, you're gonna be driving quite a bit. And then the things you drive to aren't super duper thrilling. But if you are already living in Arizona and you just want a nice place to chill, when I say chill, like especially in the summer, the temperatures look really nice up there. Um, and you just want to relax and hang out at the pool and horseback ride or hike, stuff like that. This would be a nice spot. You can look up. I had much better luck looking up like visit White Mountains of Arizona Instead of just visit Overguard, Arizona, you're not going to find as much. It does have a little grocery store and a Dollar General and a Circle K and, you know, all that kind of stuff. Walmart, it does not have, so you're going to make a, like a 30, 40 minute trip to a Walmart. And um, I, I don't know, I hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.